Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to a very quick video to show you how you can use Lady E Design Poinsettia uh, dye, which um, it is to create poinsettia flowers. We think about poinsettia that is a Christmas flower. But what I want to show you today, how you can use those uh, flower dyes to create non-Christmas Fimeran flowers. So these are, you know, in more like summery colors. And I've got yellow die cuts because the Easter is coming and the spring, so I will create some yellow flowers today. So we will need some tools, one with the smaller um, end and one with the bigger end. So you can see though this is the like the biggest in the set and I think this is one of, um, not the smallest one but, but one next to the smallest size. So will I be using those ends. Uh, something to color your flowers, something to go in the center and I've got those, uh, these are called mini snowballs so I've got those balls and I will just have them in the center you will also need an iron and uh, glue gun and of course die cuts so I'm using uh, yellow Fermiron and I'm just going to add a little bit of green in the middle and on the edges of my flowers. So for one flower I will be using only one layer of my um, of my die cut. Maybe more color in the center. I can see my hair here. Come on, off. Or maybe it's a glue string. <laughs> glue strings everywhere, always on my table. So I'm only adding a little bit of color in the middle and just on the very end, edge, top of the petal, I could say, top of the petal, I think. And I really like those uh, cute flowers. <laughs> They're super, super quick, easy to make and they're gorgeous. So we will need an iron now. Let me just get rid of that. And iron needs to be quite um, warm. I usually do it on two dots, so it is almost three dots now. This is ordinary iron, just the um, travel version, that's why it's small. So I'm going to uh, place my Fami Run, but color is facing, the, the ink is facing to me. And you will see that the petals will, uh, will just curl they're getting smaller and smaller and when they are quite curled I'm going to release that and press in the middle of my flower okay so I've got something like that I could leave it like that but I like to make the edges slightly um, more creased that's why I'm just gently squashing the edges and then to make the shape better I'm going to press each petal in the middle in the middle of each petal and then in the center of the flower so this is uh, our shaped um, flower I can say I will only add a flower center so I will repeat that place on the iron wait for the petals to curl then you just release that um, press in the center of your flower this is bringing the petals up then just grab them together squash gently and then just shape again each petal And again press in the center so that's the second one and one more and I really like that lemon color it's very pretty so waiting for your petals to curl 
that's why the iron cannot be very 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 hot because the flour will curl really quickly and you will have no control over it it's better to have it not so super super hot bring them together just squash and press each petal in the center okay now I'm just going to add um, to add those flower centers you could use probably uh, different than a hot glue but it's the quickest for me so I'm just using that I'm going to add a dot of a glue in the middle of my flower and place that ball and then maybe hold my petals for a few seconds oh already glue strings try not to add too much glue let me just remove the <laughs> that string and the flower is ready Ta -da! okay let's glue now that was a bit too much maybe I will add a tiny dot of my and then just bring the petals up you just need to wait for glue to cool down and then you've got another one okay and the same with the third one again a little dot of a glue and go in the middle Okay, I have them ready. What do you think? I think they are just super super cute. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Just that, you know, little tip that you can still use your Christmas uh, flowers to create the flowers which can go on your all the year uh, all the year projects yes <laughs> so um thank you very very much for watching have a lovely creative day bye see you soon